Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Boozer here. Hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. Today's video, I want to focus on the upcoming Ice Golem event. It's going to be a turn attack event and it's going to be faction specific with the undead hordes. Keep in mind, there is no drop fever um, boost or anything for gear. So this might actually be a good event for you guys to skip if you guys are not interested in the Titan event or if you guys feel comfortable with uh, missing out some titan points um, since we are allowed to miss some titan points um, but if you guys are tackling this i want to go over some champions and mechanics of the ice golem that might work well together and what i end up um, will be using for myself so let's get right into it so for this we're going to jump into the undead hordes basically for ice golem hard you usually um, want to kill the ice golem with hp burn so if you look at the HP burn viable champions in the Undead Horde, you have Crypt King Grom, which actually can solo um, Ice Golem hard. Um, he requires pretty good regeneration and immortal gear. He requires resistance on his stats. Really fast, of course, um, at his speed. But um, his clear time is actually quite long. I believe it's like four and a half or five minutes to do it solo. Um, besides him, there's actually not really too many viable HP burn champions from the Undead Horde that can help you go through the Ice Golem hard difficulty. Um, so I think it's not going to be viable to make even... Um, definitely not viable to go solo with Crypt King Gold because the turn attack would be way too low for it to be worthwhile. Uh, also the run time would be way too long, at least 4 minutes, 5 minutes even. You could make a team that clears the waves quickly and then dies on the boss and then have Crypt King Grawl solo the boss. That might be the best end game team. However, I don't have a Crypt King Grawl built out. So I won't be able to showcase him in this video. Um, if for normal difficulty, this is kind of what I'm going to be um, tackling myself. For normal difficulty, poisons work on the Ice Golem. So in this case, um, Bad Alcazar actually is one of the probably the best option for a solo champion if you guys have a bad L. Uh, he deals the AoE poison so he will kill the waves with poison and then he will kill the boss with poisons as well and he can keep himself alive. Similar type of build you need about 300 resistance uh, sorry 330 320 resistance good speed um, and then you need him in regeneration. He can solo the boss. Uh, he can solo the wave um, but it's going to take him about two and a half minutes, maybe even three minutes. So he's not going to be a, a really high scoring turn attack. So he's not going to be super energy efficient. Um, so outside of him, in terms of poisoners, there's not really too much. Nethro, he can't really solo the boss. Uros is interesting. Uros might have the best chance of doing it. He might make him really slow, um, have the uh, waves deal damage to him and then they will accumulate poisons that way I'm not too sure myself I don't have him built uh, because I never actually used him on this account so I can't really showcase him here um, he might actually work but uh, I haven't seen too much on Duras for Ice Golem so don't take my word for it but I want to show you guys what actually worked for me and what I think I probably will end up using and it's actually we're going to go back to our Old Faithful Frozen Banshee. So she's incredibly good against the Ice Golem. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, um, but in normal difficulty, she's just an absolute god. She has a very fast clear time. However, her turn time might actually be kind of high. Obviously, she cannot solo the waves by herself, but she can definitely solo the boss. So if you can get her to the boss um, quickly, she can do all the work against the boss without ever dying herself. Um, as long as you gear her and spec her out properly. So I'll show you guys the gear and the specs. Um, I'm decided to pair her up with Mr. Vlad the Nightborn. He's actually um, one of the few AOE decrease defense champions in this faction. So he actually speeds up the runtime quite a bit. He brings the AOE decrease defense block active skill. He places Veil on himself, which is great, keeps him alive. He places Leech, which is great, keeps him alive. His A1 heals himself, which is great, keeps him alive. And then he places the unkillable on himself when he kills something. Also does a bunch of turn meter stuff, which is great. Um, so it, he cycles through his skills pretty quick. He's not the most powerful new king champion. Like his base stats aren't that great. 
uh, in terms of attack. So he's not going to hit super, super hard. But, you know, we're still doing, um, you know, normal mode. So if you guys don't have, like, insane gear, definitely, like, go down the difficulty a little bit. But Vlad, Vlad the Nightborn is actually really good. Two AoEs, has self-preserving abilities on his on his skill kit, uh, which which makes this really good. If you guys have him but need more support, definitely feel free to add like a reviver, like War Grab or something. The the problem is with like more champions is that it's gonna increase the turn or um the turn attack, so you're gonna get less points. But you know it is what it is. You guys have to make make do with what you guys got. Keep in mind my gear is pretty good, so the results will vary. And obviously, if you guys don't have the right champions, the results will vary, of course. But I'm just trying to show you guys what. I'm going to be using and what kind of works for me right now so I'll show you guys what is happening I'm going to be tackling stage 24 which is actually better uh, gear than stage 25 you only do stage 25 for a couple reasons not uh, the main reason is not actually for gear because 24 actually gives you more gear quality um, and it gives you more silver and it costs less energy 25 gives you more CBC points. It's, more, it's worth more for turn attack, um, but it's not better for gear. So definitely uh, stage 24 is actually preferred for me. So I, I'm going to hop in here. But this is what I'm actually going to use. I'm just going to use Frozen Banshee and Vlad the Nightborn. So we'll see how it goes. Let's jump in it. I have some presets set, so I'll show you guys the presets after. So a bunch of AoEs coming out. He veils, so he protects himself. I think the speed on him is actually kind of important because it allows him to cycle back into his veil. Bashi needs to have uh, needs to be a little bit tanky so she does not die to all those hits. You, you see that she's actually tanking all those hits there. All right, so we cleared the wave in 21 turns. Vlad's coming back in, and then notice how Bashi is going to be taking some hits here. She should be able to tank him. And this is where like her speed is really really important not too many weak hits here from these guys so this is probably um, as bad as it gets for the banshee damage all right boss in 51 turns Still going to be the Banshee show here, even though Vlad is um, active. Alright, so Vlad's down. Okay, so we're here to deal with these one, this one ad, and then we're going to deal with the, the boss here. Okay, the ad's dead. 82 turns. Here comes the boss. The boss should never kill Frozen Banshee when they're, when they're soloing. He's always full poisons when he takes a turn. And he's down. So 104 turns, it's very consistent. Like 103, 104, very, very consistent. Um, I think this run in particular, it's pretty negative RNG against us. So I saw Banshee was taking quite a bit of hits, um, non-weak hits and all that. And then Vlad actually took one hit as well. So. Uh, overall, this is probably what you're expecting. So, these are the point breaks down breakdown for turn attack. So, I know for hard um, eight dragon at least, when I take about a hundred turns, it's about forty five points, right? So that's about a hundred turns. So I assume hundred points, like a hundred turns, might be the halfway mark between the uh, min and max for turn points. So I'm just going to assume if it's 100 turns here, you're probably looking at about 35, maybe about 35 points. So if the Ice Golem event is the same as the Dragon in terms of how many points um, it requires to get the um, Titan points, um, we're looking at 4,400. So if you're looking at 4,400 over 35, 4400 divided by 35 looking at about 125 runs at 18 energy each so 2260 which is 
not too bad considering that this takes about two about 100 runs which is about 2000 energy so considering that's a heart of action um, it only costs an extra 10 percent energy to get the titan points um, i'm not too miffed about that you can obviously farm food if you want your your turns are going to increase a little bit um, i'll go over the um the stats and presets sorry hop in here yeah so far so consistent i did like maybe like 10 10 runs so far very consistent but here is the banshee 265 334 resistance this is like basically the minimums uh, accuracy to 25 and then you want some good hp her defense is kind of low if you can stack her defense a little bit higher that'd be better I didn't use any like uh, gear off my champions on her, so I'm just using gear for my stash. Vlad, he's in savage gear, uh, 222 speed with enough accuracy to place some of his uh, decreased defense, of course. Um, I mean, if you could stack like resist uh, any kind of survivability on him, that's always good. But his main goal is to uh, do damage and be fast. So uh, just go over presets here real quick. So disable A3, disable A3, and then disable A2. Vlad open with the decreased defense, decreased defense, decreased defense. Okay, so we'll just jump into uh, show you guys the actual gear here. So Vlad, Vlad's in Savage just to do damage. Um, he's fully booked and his masteries. It's going to be Helm Smasher for more damage, of course. Whirlwind will give him more speed, which is great. Cycle, which gives him extra AoEs, which is good. Okay, and then Banshee, this is probably the more important one where you guys have to focus on the build. So, like I said, regen gear. If you have regen immortal, even better. Fully booked, of course. And her masteries have to be very important here. So, no war master on her because you don't want her to trigger the ice golem slam. You want the counterattack, you want the reduction on AoE, you want the reduction from boss. Sorry, this one. Uh, you want increased healing. Um, and then you want extra turn meter, all turn meter stuff. So turn meter, uh, you don't really need this one, but it helps against some of the waves that keeps the waves off of them. Um, but you could go here if you want, but this seems fine. Um, you probably don't even need this because she cycles back to the A3 very quickly. Uh, spirit haste is really good if you have, um, some food. So she gains some more speed. I didn't have food, so she got actually be even faster. Um, obviously more speed means she can recover faster as well so definitely helpful right and then this one master hexer to increase duration of poisons and all that stuff's really good oppressor very good because she's gaining all that speed and turn meter so this is kind of like the solo build for most um, solo champions against ice golem so basically similar masteries um, you want the oppressor you definitely don't want war master for example and uh, yeah, I mean, so far this build working out pretty good. Um, I'll do a little bit more testing, but I think I just want to get this video out there just to help you guys prepare for the upcoming, upcoming tournament if you guys are into it. Uh, if not, hopefully you guys got some ideas for the future maybe. Uh, but definitely give her give Frozen Banshee some love. She's been in the vault for a while for me, but I know she I know I used her in the past for Ice Golem before Hard Ice Golem came, and I know she's a god against Ice Golem. Uh, especially in terms of like just speed clears as well she's actually very very strong um, anyways just wanted to give her some love in this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, hopefully you guys learned something let me know in the comments below what you guys are planning to do what teams you guys are running and yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video